Hello YouTube, it's to be honest been a while, I mean I haven't showed my face on this YouTube channel for about six years now and uh, a lot has changed, it's been a crazy crazy nine years since uh, this channel exploded with all this Call of Duty music. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to kind of sort of tell you the story of how it all happens and what's exactly going on with the future and what's in it in the music. I sometimes have a feeling that people think that I'm starting to sort of not be as um, as engaged as I was when I was a wee young boy and to be honest they're actually kind of tr kind of right and uh, this is why I'm creating this video to be honest. Uh, so let's go back to the beginning uh, because it has been a while uh, when I was about 16 years old uh, it was Call of Duty 5 World at War when I um, when I was actually starting to get quite interested in the, the music behind it uh, the composer Sean Murray is just an absolutely incredible composer uh, the main theme of World at War Brav Soldat was, is still one of the tracks that really blows my mind till this today and um, I started uploading those tracks because they were already available on the internet I think I bought the album somewhere or it actually came in one of those uh, extension packs and I just uploaded it and people did like it because there were people especially my age which is actually quite difficult to have people our age listen to such great music and uh, they are liking it I was like okay this is fantastic you know uh, I was a 16 year old kid, I had no clue what I was doing, I was in high school studying IT and to be honest, you know, here I am. Um, and then uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 came in 2009 and that was when YouTube, or well, my channel specifically, exploded. Um, the reason this happened was uh, at the start Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 didn't have a soundtrack that was ready, readily available to be uploaded. Now the problem with this is because Modern Warfare 2 was composed, especially uh, most of the main themes of it, was composed by Hans Zimmer, an incredible composer. To this day, he's a massive influence on my life. And um, I really wanted to share Modern Warfare 2 music. And the thing is, this is not... Well, it wasn't possible, you know, where the hell are you going to find Modern Warfare 2 music? And, um, well, I was, what I did, I had the disc with the game, and I, man, I, it's been so long now. Somehow I got internally into the file system of Modern Warfare 2. Now, I mean, if you put it in your regular CD, DVD, you know, game console player, it's just going to play the bloody game. But I, I, I don't know how I exactly did it, but I got into the internal system of the game, where it goes by files. You can you know, upload, you can take the pictures of the logos of the multiplayer, you know, logo of, of each team, for example. And this is exactly the same when it came to the, uh, AV, were they AVI files? MP3 files or something like this. And uh, I was looking at the file system for like a couple of hours and I managed to find the jackpots. I found all of these Modern Warfare 2 uh, uh, sound files. Uh, to be fair, <laughs> Some of them were at a ridiculous 64 kilobytes per second, but what can you do? You know, that's the only way where I ever got the music. So I extracted it all, I posted on YouTube, I went to bed, and because I used to live in Sydney, I was born and bred in Sydney, Australia, um, I went to bed and my YouTube channel the next night absolutely blew up, like blew up, like insane. In, in 24 hours, I was number 15 in the most watched YouTube channel in Australia. It was just absolutely ridiculous. And, uh, you know, I was 17 at the time. I was, you know, this little bloody fanboy who became famous and all this kind of stuff. So it was really good fun. Um, and then the years passed, you know, Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops, and then Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2. And all these mu this music was just so good, especially Sean Murray's uh, uh, um, Modern Warfare and Black Ops, uh, and uh, uh, Brian Taylor was a really good one, which was uh, I think it was Modern Warfare Three, uh, Modern Warfare Two, Hans Zimmer, which was just 
fucking incredible. And I completely forgot, and I really apologize to the composer who did the original Modern Warfare because that was one of the reasons why I traveled. By the way, yes, I did travel to Chernobyl, I, um, Chernobyl, Ukraine. Uh, there were two uh, levels in Call of Duty Modern Warfare where um, you go through Pripyat and, and the Chernobyl number 4 nuclear power plant. And uh, I was like, screw that, you know, I was living in London at the time. I'm going to not tell anyone, I'm just going to go to the plane and just bloody go to Pripyat. So I'm probably doing a slideshow of photos here. Anyway, sorry about that, that was a side note. Uh, but I wanted to say that um, um, uh, that like there was such good music and I I don't know why even though I always kept listening to to orchestral and soundtrack music but it started to fade on me the the emotion wasn't there like it what like it did when I was a teenager and I'm not too sure it's because this is where it all started and when it starts you know you you don't know the concept and and you're reading about these different themes and techniques that these computer composers used to really engage you and I I, I, I lost it I, I really didn't give as much effort as I should have and when it came to the actual gameplay I started to feel like it was starting to get slowly worse and worse especially after Modern Warfare 3. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare pissed me off. I think that it was a real slap in the face because now remember this is just a music channel but I, I do play the games and uh, I just thought that this was just not the direction I wanted to go in absolutely not and um, all I did was I I created in, um, in Final Cut Pro all the all the players and, and upload the music bought the soundtracks I'm not a you know illegal download or whatnot and I just really just sent it to to you guys because you know you you guys should enjoy it if, if you do like it um so you know even if you check out my facebook page i've for the past four years now have been trying to advertise my facebook page for mark 1802 and uh, pff, there's nobody nobody there i do no post i'm a dj of uh, you know bedroom dj i dj trance music and my facebook page on on uh, trance music is like four times as much and I don't have so, so many views because of the fan base in trans because it's much less than what I have in YouTube. Anyway, a bit of a sidetrack there. But yes, I didn't really, really care. And um, the reason was is that I, I just found the music so unoriginal. It was always the same. Uh, and as I said, you know, this could be just me because I've, I've been listening to, to soundtrack music for, for the 10 years. And I... I, you know, I was like, you know, whatever. So, um, actually, and, and I'm just telling you this now, but uh, after the Infinite Warfare, I, I pretty much was going to send a, a, a video recording like this, just me and you. And just to tell you, you know, after nine years, I think it's time for me to stop because I... I, I felt like the music was not as engaging as it was before and and I felt like maybe the fans were depleting from that. When I look at the statistics of my YouTube channel, it's been falling ever since and I'm not surprised. You know, people do have the nostalgia hit and they always go back to that Modern Warfare 2 music and I don't blame them because that was where it all started. That's where our hearts are and I don't think that it, it will work anymore like this. Which is, uh, to be honest, a bit of a shame, but hey, it was a great journey. You know, as a side note, with Infinite Warfare, um, I wasn't really as excited for it. I was excited for the Modern Warfare Remaster, just a bit of a, you know, a nostalgia hit, because it has been eight years. So, <laughs> I go to the bloody store, I buy an Xbox One, I live in London, I don't, I don't have an Xbox, you know, all this kind of stuff, so I had to buy one, Xbox One. Infinite Warfare, you know, the the um, uh, extension pack, whatever they call it these days, and I literally opened up the game, I installed Modern Warfare, and I threw the CD out. I had no intention to play Infinite Warfare. That whole modern, sorry, not modern, futuristic bullshit just was not going to settle for me. So I played Modern Warfare with Remaster. It was great because I had the nostalgia here and you know I was in Chernobyl and I was like oh you know I saw exactly this and whatnot so it was great but 
I, as I said, you know, and the thing with this is that I, after Infinite Warfare, I thought that Call of Duty was going to go in that same direction, and I was like, guys, I was going to record that video, you know, me and you, I'm going to quit the channel because I have no emotion for it anymore, and I, it's that the music is lacking, and the game is just, I don't like it anymore, it's just crap, but... I was like, you know what, Mark, hold it on for another year, make it 10 years, make it a decade, and, you know, leave with with some kind of legacy, if you could call it that. I'm not an egotistical guy. And then I was like, all right, great, what's, what's the next game going to be? And we saw the trailers for Call of Duty uh, World War Two, and I was like, fuck, yes, this is exactly what Call of Duty needs right now. It needs to go back to the basics. It needs to go, you know, incredible. Modern Warfare, uh, sorry, uh, World War Two is right back, way back to the roots. Back to Call of Duty One, you know, on the PC. It was the year two thousand and three when it was first started. I was like, this is exactly what we need. I'm gonna continue, and I was listening to the trailer music, and I've had some snippets of of music from gameplays and whatnot. And I was like, you know what, the composition is actually quite brilliant. I I, I would not uh, doubt that. Uh, I actually don't even know who the composer is, but this is exactly what I wanted to tell you. So um, I will be back for Call of Duty World War Two, but I also want to stress that I've been listening to so much orchestral music these days in different forms that I I want to sort of show you where my influence all came from. You know from the past three four years I, I i'll upload some music you know as so you guys get excited for call of duty world war 2 i'll upload some music of some of the greatest tracks i've ever heard in orchestra just orchestra or, or soundtrack the tracks that really stuck to me right here so uh, i hope you guys enjoy the next four or five videos there will be some hans zimmer i will tell you that much actually there'll be quite a bit of hans zimmer um, and, uh, yeah, I, I really didn't say thank you to you guys because I really, really do appreciate the comments that you make. I mean, sometimes I hear comments from last year and they say to me that they've been listening to it and they've been getting interested in, in soundtrack music since the beginning, 2008. I was like, this this is incredible. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted people to listen to great music and especially, you know, people of you know, people I'm twenty five now, but teenagers. I want young people because the thing is is that classical music, orchestral music, soundtrack music is dying. And it it's a shame because it's it's the music that makes us emotional in, in movies. It's uh it's those greats like Mozart and Beethoven and, 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 and you know, it's just, yeah, there's just so much. So uh, as a final thank you, guys, I love you. Girls, I love you. Um, I really do appreciate all the comments. I really do appreciate all the constructive criticisms. Uh, I, I, I love you all. I mean, the, the fans, and the, the, the people who, who really stuck to this music is incredible. I think I one up from that. I'm so happy that I've read throughout the, the decades, the decade of um, just just teenagers, the same like me, who started listening to this music and it's one of their favorite genres of music. And I've, I've read some incredible comments and messages and I, I really do appreciate it. Because even though that I, my focus is on, on dance and trance music and, and you know, chill out and ambience and all this kind of stuff, uh, soundtrack and orchestral has really stuck to my heart for all these years. So I really do appreciate it. I will keep going until I'm old, frail and brittle. Who knows what's going to happen to me in the next 10 years. So nine years ago, 16 year old boy, a teenager who had no bloody clue what the hell he wanted to do with his life. He uploaded great music on YouTube, it exploded, he finished his high school, started university in IT, and then on top of that I studied aviation 
and became a private pilot, uh, had a private pilot license um, in four years, became a ski instructor in Australia and Czech Republic, came back, finished my IT, worked as a office desk job kind of guy in Sydney and then I was like, you know what, let's, let's enjoy life. So I moved to London and uh, it's been great. I mean, two and a half years here in London. Um, all I can say is that I drink a lot, a lot, and uh, I travel a lot. Uh, I think 37 countries so far. You know, it's uh, it, it's been a cool journey. And I mean, the, the, the reason why I'm saying this is because nine years has changed all of us. Who knows what the hell is going to happen in the next nine years, ten years. So, um, Finally, thank you. Uh, if you guys want to know anything, if you want to comment, uh, I will reply to you within the next seven days. So, it, it classified as Reddit to ask me anything. Reply to this uh, before seven days of, of uh, within seven days of the upload, and I will comment. Uh, you can get as personal as you want. I don't really care. Um, but thank you. Do check out the new uploads. I will put before the uh, Call of Duty World Air 2 soundtrack because these tracks hold dear to me and I'm pretty sure that you guys will like them too because it's very similar to what we listen to on this channel. So thank you, enjoy the music, enjoy the awesome music and keep playing Call of Duty. Bye.